but we want to say good morning to Jennifer Garner. She's one of the stars of the new movie, Danny Collins. It centers on an aging rock star played by none other than Al Pacino, and he's on a quest to find himself and the family he abandoned on his rise to stardom. And Jennifer, who plays his daughter-in-law, doesn't exactly give him a warm welcome at first. You did this to yourself. Shame on you. That was good. Thanks. I've been practicing since you gave me the bagel. <laughs> no, it has a certain feel to it. Oh, he married well. He did. I'm great. Yeah. You see what you missed out on? Perfect daughter-in-law really cute movie. Jennifer, good morning. Good to see good you. Good morning. Great to see you. I was going to ask you, what drew you to this role? But seeing Al Pacino in all his rock star glory had to be at the top of the list. Well, for sure. Watching Al Pacino, just working with him in general, forget about it. But then watching him sing every day, <laughs> which happened all day, every day. He loved the song that they created for him in this movie, that he sang it on stage, off stage, between Hey, takes. baby doll. Yeah. like, hey, baby. It was very yep. catchy. Very catchy. It'll be in your head. Yeah, he definitely plunged into the role of kind of flamboyant aging rock star you're the kind of the glue in this movie I think the director said you were the soul of the movie no pressure yeah but you're basically kind of helping this family relationship heal explain well sometimes families coming back together it can be as painful a process as families splitting up mm. but the fun thing to me about this movie is that after the award season when everything is so serious and dire this movie just is all about it's so life affirming and family affirming and it's so fun we were all drawn to the story there aren't that many original stories and Annette Benning, Chris Plummer, Bobby Cannavale and Al Pacino come on it doesn't get better and there is something very unique about the mm -hmm. premise of the movie this aging rock star discovers that none other than John Lennon mm -hmm. had written him a letter 40 years earlier. That had never made it to him. And it never made it to mm -hmm. him, and that got him thinking about the life he didn't live. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a really interesting jumping off point. Mm -hmm. I thought, is there anything you th you think about in your life? Okay, if I had turned left instead of right, if I had oh, taken this sure. other road, what might I have done if not be been an actress? For sure, there's there are millions of those things, and this film really asks you to stop and take stock for a minute and look at your own life and think, it, what was the road not taken for me, and how could I have done things differently? And and it's never too late to fix anything that you have regret over. Something really cute, I know you're proud of. Southern Living just uh -huh. did a whole spread with you, your sister and your mom mm -hmm. and when I was looking at it I thought this is really cool and I bet Jennifer loves this because all of the spotlight gets mm -hmm. to be on those ladies you love it makes me cry to see their faces so I won't look but um yes it was there's just nothing like you know sharing the spotlight or anything else with your sisters and your mom oh I, I can so relate to that because there's something about when you're in these jobs where you get to do those fun things and you get to share and say, hey, mom, want to get your hair and makeup done? Is that how you felt about it? Yes, it's just, it's always fun for me to get my sisters dolled up yeah. and my mom. Oh. <laughs> you're <laughs> killing me right now, Jennifer, because your it's love is those just... babies. Yeah. You showed those babies and Leah still, and I just watched it. I can't even take it. Oh, you are so darling. Today's show is too tough for me. You got a heart of gold. That's your problem. <laughs> What can we talk about? We have to talk about something really boring okay, let's talk so about we can, else. I know. How about let's... that dog Wrangler? How about Wrangler? Come on. How about tax day? It's coming up April 15th. <laughs> How about my birthday, April 17th? It is happy birthday. And guess what? Barefoot Contessa Ina Garten, I am cooking with her on my Come birthday. Come on. Yes. What are you going to make? Do you know? I don't know. I had a lot of ideas. I think I kind of overwhelmed them. I'm a little bit overexcited. So are you cooking for others? Are you cooking We're for the cooking family? We're cooking for her show. Okay. But I'm considering it for my birthday. All right. Yeah. Well, it's very very exciting. So, am I yeah. allowed to ask how old you be? I think we're the I'll same be 43. age. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I am 43. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's a real boring age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy to be 43. 40 is good. You know, I think the, the, the milestone birthdays are good. It's these kind of middle ones that you're yeah. like, whatever. I know. Yeah. It starts to get real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the family? Good? They're all really good. Thank you. Good. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, you are such a delight and such a doll. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And Danny Collins opens in limited release this Friday. Matt will send it to you. Matt, we just took a vote. We just put Jennifer in the list of best guests ever. I know. She's the I'm most so adorable. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly. Fantastic. Hi, America. You love her even more <laughs> I'm now. She's I'm unbelievable. Sorry. It's My mom is under the weather, and it just so oh. shocked me. That, I mean, we, I knew I, I just didn't realize I would get emotional. Oh. We wish her the best. She's